Israel in the West, in the West Bank, Palestinians are not citizens. Um, they have very little control over the state that really governs their lives. Um, they go before military courts, which are often conducted in Hebrew, we don't understand, which have prosecution rates of kind of 99%, according to some studies. They, um, they have to, they're at their travel, if they want to get to Jerusalem or to the Jordan Valley or inside, on the other side of Israel, separation barrier is really dramatically limited. This really has brutal consequences for people's lives. And it's hard for those of us who love Israel to face that because we believe that Israel means well, and we feel like we, in some sense, know those kids who are sent to serve in the West Bank. And we know that they're good kids. Um, uh, and yet, the more you interact with Palestinians, the more you're forced to confront that even these good people who we feel connected to, we love, we admire uh, so much, that there's a system in place that becomes brutal in practice. Um, and um, it's very hard to come to terms when you know people personally who've been brutalized by it. I mean, there was a guy who came to see me uh, a few months ago named Fadi Quran. He's a, I mean, literally, like, you could not dream up the more ideal Palestinian that is an American Jew or even Israeli you would want. This guy, he reads Martin Buber and Hannah Arendt. He, uh, he, uh, he, he, um, he's inspired by, he's a, he's a Gandhian. He's been, he, he's, he's, obsessed by the, by the civil rights movement and by the American Jewish role in the civil rights movement. He came to talk to me because he said, we want to do freedom rides in the West Bank, in which we get on buses and try to go to East Jerusalem, because we can't go to East Jerusalem, most of us. Um, and if we did this, in the spirit of freedom rides, knowing that American Jews were so involved, do you think any American Jews would support us? And I have to say, just what? hearing him ask that question was so poignant to me because the truth answer is that American Jews will never know. That's the real answer. We will really will not know. They did do these freedom rights. They got the hell beat out. Nobody paid any attention. Um, then get a confrontation with some police, this guy in Federal. I only say this I know this guy is a good person. I just happen to know he is because I know him. Um, uh, he was accused of assaulting some, an Israeli soldier. But there's a video. He did not assault an Israeli soldier. He was arguing with an Israeli soldier. He was angry. But he, got, he was beaten very badly. Um, and then put into in detention for several days. Um, now has a secret file against him, can't leave the West Bank, um, doesn't know what's in the secret file because he can't see the evidence against him. And I talked to him recently about, about, the, about this question. And um, for me, the struggle is, how do I, how do I deal with this? You know, um, uh, how do I deal with it emotionally? Um, because I think one of the greatest challenges and difficulties, frankly, for Israelis on the Israeli left who go to the West Bank. Most Israelis don't, except maybe in their military service. The people who go a lot find it hard not to feel alienated from their own society. Um, and I think that happens to American Jews, too, who go spend a lot of time. Because most American Jews who go to Israel never go and experience Palestinian life on occupation. They never do. The birthright trips don't take you. The big guys who go to the, sing go to the King David Hotel six times a year to the Mahers and meet with their Israeli Mahers counterparts, they never do it. Um, and it's very, very powerful and very challenging and difficult. And um, I find that um, it doesn't mean the politics are not complicated. It doesn't mean the solution is simple. I'm not trying to say that. It is complicated. But, it, but politics can be complicated, and there can also be a moral reality under, underneath. And just while we shouldn't use the moral reality to obfuscate the political complication, we shouldn't use the fact that it's complicated politically to forget the fact that there's a moral reality. And the moral reality is one that I think American Jews have a lot of difficulty dealing with. I have difficulty dealing with.